Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Preparing for Legion. In this final part of 10 videos we are going to discuss how you can prepare for the launch of Legion. Be it things you can do right now or information about the various systems you'll be interacting with upon launch, hopefully these videos have helped you prepare yourself for the next expansion. In this video we are going to discuss the ultimate tip for Legion. There are so many little pieces of advice that I can throw at you, but rather than sit here and mention them all, which would take a while, I would definitely suggest just taking a look at some resources, so head over to MMO Champions Legion Launch Overview, which has some tips and tricks that might help you out. You can also check out Wowhead's front page for their Legion Launch Guide, and Icy Veins have updated their class guide. You can check all of these out using the links in the description. Right, so let's discuss this ultimate tip. We've discussed a lot in the last nine videos. Your characters, your artifact, your professions, the moose, your first raid, your survival kit, the lore, your computer, and dungeons. So, what is my ultimate tip? To have fun. This might sound utterly stupid and obvious, but over the last week or so I've seen a lot of new faces in the comments sections, and I've seen the channel grow a lot. There have been a lot of discussions about the various mechanics, schedules, about how there's so much to do, about how there's not enough to do, etc, 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 and it's reminded me of the multiple expansion launches I've gone through where I've watched people, friends of mine, burn out, because they just go over the top and take everything so damn seriously. Remember, this is a video game. It's a great video game, an amazing video game that a lot of people care deeply about, and you might feel like you have a lot of obligations to prepare for raiding, or PvP, or to race towards something and be among the first to do it, and you might feel like, oh, I've got work, I don't have all the time to do all this stuff. This was a very common reaction to my first raid video where a lot of comments just said, how am I supposed to do all this? I don't have enough time. These might seem like obligations, but they aren't. You don't have to do this. You simply don't. It's not a big deal. Even if you're in a raiding guild, you have three weeks to prepare yourself, so there's absolutely no need to rush. Relax. The only person that has any control over this is you. You're the one playing, and you're likely the one paying for your subscription fee. Remember that. Playing. It's not a big deal. It's so, so easy to give yourself an aneurysm about World of Warcraft, be it on social media, in trade chat, in guild chat, or just talking to another player. Again, relax. There's no rush. It's not a big deal. You have no obligation to drive yourself insane over World of Warcraft. If anything, you have an obligation to enjoy yourself. Let me give you an example. A quick story from my time in my favourite expansion, Mists of Pandaria. This is by far my favourite memory in World of Warcraft. It's not killing the Lich King for the first time, it's not going into a mythic raiding team, it's not building the channel. These are all things I'm proud of and that I remember fondly, but by far, this little story and this little moment is by far my favourite memory of World of Warcraft. So, I was in a long distance relationship with my husband-to-be, and we would play World of Warcraft together to help bridge that 5,000 mile difference between us. It wasn't easy, but video games were kind of the equivalent of dates for us. Normal folk who were actually together could say things like, hey, do you want to go out for dinner tonight and, you know, maybe catch up, or do you want to go out for coffee? We couldn't do that. So we would say, do you want to play World of Warcraft together? Do you want to play a multiplayer game together? Do you want to talk about video games? That's how we kind of bonded. So we entered Mr. Pandaria late, thanks to getting distracted by Guild Wars 2 for a few months, and we played through the questing experience in Pandaria together. We were lucky in a way, because we had no one to compete with as we took our time. Every night we would sit down and level up in Mr. Pandaria, and when I say every night, I mean every night. He would get home from work at 10 o'clock in the evening, my time, so we didn't have a lot of time. Two, three hours at the very most. Now this might seem strange or even lame, but we read every quest to each other over Skype. We would discuss the lore implications of what was going on. We would constantly get lost, and every damn time, he would run off because he was a herbalist. He'd see a herb, he would run off and shout through Skype, FLOWER! And then suddenly he was gone, and I'm just sitting here thinking, well, he's gone. And then he would run back with a stream of NPCs, a stream of enemies, swarms of them, just chasing him because he would undoubtedly pull them as he ran off and came back to me. So we died so many times, just overwhelmed by Hosen or Saurok or even Pandaren at times, because he would just aggro everything to get a damn flower. And it was amazing. It was so much fun. 
And all these little memories I have of seeing Rathian for the first time, of seeing some of the awesome cinematics in Mr. Pandaria for the first time, of going through and attending some of the funerals for the characters in the game, and just seeing the world together, that is my favourite memory in World of Warcraft. We are going to do exactly the same thing when Legion launches. We are going to read the quest text to each other, we are going to explore every nook and cranny of the Broken Isles, we are going to take our time levelling up, because we are only going to get this chance once, and we have no intention to waste it. To me, that is more important than anything else. Optimising myself for raids, to rushing to 110, to getting my professions up, anything. No. You have plenty of time. This is a rare opportunity for everyone. So remember to prioritise having fun, and don't go crazy over this stuff, as I've seen lots of people do. There's no point. Maybe at this point I'm just preaching to the choir. Maybe at this point in the video people who I'd like to try and convince have already left. I don't know. But hopefully it'll remind you what this is all about. Fun. You can read as many guides as you'd like and optimise yourself as much as you'd like and hit the ground running as hard as you possibly can and all that stuff, but at the end of the day this is just all for fun. And fun in this day and age is crucial. So don't waste this opportunity. That will conclude this video. I have no other pieces of advice to give you. Legion is hours away at this point, and as the World of Warcraft gets saddled up to adventure in the Broken Isles, something by the way I think is really cool, I'm going to step away from social media and YouTube and let myself get lost in Legion. You likely won't hear much from me for a week or so. We'll have to see how it goes, but I intend to basically take this week off and play. Again, for fun. So, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments or suggestions you can contact me using the links in the description, or you can just leave a comment. If you want to help support the channel there's a link to my Patreon page in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in Legion.